Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. Hey, today we got a couple stuff to do. There's, a, there's this place that um, I'm going to try to purchase today so I can actually start with the SUV garage. So we'll see how that's going to turn out. Now, I'm just wondering how these things are hanging up. Like, oh, man, I'm missing a table. I think I'm missing an object. Um, I see. I, I, I've I've seen that it's been it's been missing like in a lot of my location that I have lately. Oh my god, these people, man! These people never leave. It's six o'clock in the morning. They just like to party, man. Anyway, they they agree that they might be paying rent. So I'm I I'm not going with might, but you know what? They're gonna have to. Look at what time is it? It's like six a.m. Six thirty a.m. and they here in the house already. But anyway, guys, um, I'll be using this helicopter later. There's a little spot that I might be using to, you know, surprise CC later on. Uh, it's one of these islands. I think it's this island right here, but I'm not sure yet. We'll do that later. But right now, um, since I was also renovating that place, so I'm gonna have to go and pay. Do whatever I need to do. Look at that. They're using all my parking lot. Look at that. They got old school that I can't even afford. I mean, I can actually afford it if I sell everything that I own, but I can't really afford it. It is what it is. But anyway, guys, this is the showroom Bugatti. Um, act like that's not mine. You know, just I'm just driving it. That's like that's that's actually one thing like uh, most most dealership. You know, there are certain dealership um, that allows it. But I remember back when I used to work for Enterprise, like whatever leftover cars we have for the night, we would take it home. <laughs> we would take it home because I mean, most of us didn't live like no more than five, five, ten miles away from from the actual Enterprise, so it was okay to take it home. If you add any additional miles to the car, it just you know they just take it off your paycheck or whatever. But I thought that was cool. I I mean. I could work with that, and the the miles that we they were charging was nothing. So every night I would take out a different car. So the thing um, with my neighbors, they used to think like, "Yo, you bought, yo, what what are you doing? Yeah, back up, back up, back up." Somebody always trying to come up in here, man. Yeah. You anyway, we gotta go back to the dealership. So I gotta remove all these freaking vehicles to this spot over here. Yes, I'm gonna. I gotta pay for it again. But anyway, let's go over there. We're gonna be driving the Bugatti. Yeah. So, um, me in high school, right? High school, just about to graduate high school, whatever. I own a Mustang. <laughs> yes, I own a convertible Mustang. I'm talking about like I thought I was like I thought I was a shit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was a shit. I thought I was a shit. Like I was working for this Jewish guy, and then I finally got a little part time at Enterprise. And they were allowing us to take any cars home. So sometimes I would just park my little Mustang in the in the prize garage and then just take any cars that I want. Like imagine you see somebody pull up in a different car every day. I'm talking about like that's when those chargers came out. That's when those Chrysler 300 came out. I was I was pulling up on another Mustang. Like I'm talking about like this is back in the days where it used to be cool. Like we did. I mean, I, I didn't really call it abuse, um, the privilege that we had, but I was really killing it. I was I felt like I was kind of killing it, and also I was paying for the miles that I use because if I end up using the car for that night or whatever I did, but I thought that was that was pretty cool, man. I don't think there's no companies that allow that. Look at the new Durango. Yeah, I don't think there's no companies that allow that that much. Um. But I just I just thought I was like, I didn't even have to pay for those cars. I mean, you know what? I had to pay for the miles. That was about it. But to rent those cars will go for at least between 80 to 100 and change per day where I was just paying for the miles and stuff. I think it was fair for most of the people that work for enterprise or at least for a rental company. Like, do you do you guys even get a chance to take a car home now? Or is it just a manager? Because I feel like we kind of mess it up for you guys that work <laughs> for your company now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, it was fun. It was fun. I used to take a call home every day, man. A new call home every day. Anyway, um, I'll be driving this Jeep for today. Um, let's put this back in the showroom because I'm not supposed to be driving this, but you know, put a couple miles on it. 
All right, so this is the spot where it's supposed to be. Let me just check in with her. Rocking, you know, rocking my nice jersey, driving a brand new car. I remember those Chrysler, Chrysler Sebring. I used to think like I'm balling in a Chrysler Sebring. Um, those charges, like, I mean, it was crazy. Anyway, you good? I gotta get those cars to my place. All right. You good? You want to help me? All right, I'll be by myself. All right, so guys, um, we gotta transfer those cars to that garage. I'm actually gonna purchase that location basically for the garage because I need to do my SUV garage again. So I got the G wagon, I got the Range, I got the new Durango, um, I got this um, what you call it, Nissan over here. I still what is what is the name for this again? I don't I don't even know. I haven't got into that truck like that. This rim over here is because my dad used to have one of these, so I I remember I, I like I used to really kill this thing, man. I used to be driving this thing all the time. All right, so let's go purchase this thing, and we should be all set. What the yo? Hold up, guys. Sorry, yo. You never feel like when you plan and something crawling on your feet. <laughs> I thought something was crawling, but no, no. There's no, there's nothing. There's nothing crawling. I think that was the cat that probably passed by me or something like that. Yo, it's always something when I'm playing. So the new um, Durango that I just installed, guys, the LOD for the car is not ready yet. I mean, the, the car is still work in progress, too. So you guys might see it disappear a couple of times. Nice Mustang, man. And guys, for the first time, like in a long time, I finally learned how to play around with the memory. Like, you know, kind of like trick the game. Cause there's so many mods that you have to use. Damn, we got a Porsche driving around. We got mad cars driving around. I like how it changed my traffic too. So it's um, I kind of tricked the memory because what happened is um, the game is not optimized to be modded. I mean, it there are some part of it that is, but it's not fully optimized. Wait, they they got rid of the other apartment. All right, I'll purchase this. Okay, that's there's no issue. I purchase this. I'm gonna drop off the first um pickup truck. It's gonna be more like more like my SUV slash pickup truck garage. And then we gotta do the Mercedes Benz garage. We gotta do the BMW garage. I know you guys are ready, man. And it's sooner or later, I'm gonna have to rob another bank. I'm gonna have to have rob another bank soon. All right. So this is one. It might kick me out for a second. Yep. I knew it. I just need to register the vehicle. All right, damn. I don't have enough space. Uh, we expect the unexpected, and that's about now your vehicle. But, oh, I don't need my vehicle repair. It's good. I guess they repair it as soon as I bring it in here. Damn, this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go pick up the other cars. Oh, they still there because this thing usually reset once I exit. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Damn, they got a they got a whole shootout going on. Alright, they got him. They got him. Alright, they did what they had to do. I'm gonna keep going about my day. Alright, so I'm gonna run across guys. So I guess we're gonna have to keep running across so we can get these vehicles over here. I should have the wrench mod. That would make it so much easier, right, guys? But anyway, today I am going to um, actually me and CC. We're going to court just for me. Um, actually, um, to support one of my friend, man. You guys remember the accident that happened? I'm gonna be there to support one of my friends. Um, an accident happened, and hopefully, hopefully, he's gonna be all right or whatever the case is. But it's it's gonna be a long day. So that's why I'm even recording early for you guys today. Today's Thursday already. Recording like at 12 o'clock. Just making sure you guys are good. And don't mind, don't mind me, guys. Um, the Fortnite, all those things are coming to the to the channel, of course. Sorry that I'm taking so long to get these things together because I've been like on a schedule as far as damn, I got a couple cars to bring, yo. You know, would all these things fit on a truck? The first one that fit on the truck, but would all these things fit? You know what? Let me try. Because I'm gonna have to keep running back and forth, back and forth. 
I'm just not sure that they're gonna fit on a truck. That's why I didn't even try. All right, let's just pawn the Euler and let's just put it right here. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit on a truck, guys. I mean, I'm going right over there. That's why I didn't feel like it was necessary to really even try. But you know what? It's worth trying. Whichever one don't fit, we'll just um leave it. I gotta make sure this truck is gonna stay there, like it won't disappear. Look at the Star Wars. Oh, I can't even save this truck. All right, so I gotta do it the old school way. All right, so let's go. We gotta make sure we put this in the database, and we gotta make sure we put the trailer in the database. Okay, there you go. That's all I need. All right, so come on, let's try to load up these things. Um, I I swear the first truck we had though wouldn't fit. So what about this over here? You guys think it's gonna fit? This Nissan right here. Would I drop one of these? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm rocking with Nissan. You know why I'm rocking with Nissan, guys? Some people might have bad experience with Nissan. Um, what you call it? Nissan customer service. But I've I've been having the best experience. That's why I even went back to the GTR again. When it comes to oh shoot, it won't fit. This is why I didn't go this way, guys, because I feel like the SUVs wouldn't fit. You see that? Let's just drive it over there. Let's just drive it over. Oh, you guys think the Durango is gonna? Yeah. So I've been having like great experience. Like for the past, I've been with Nissan for the past 15 years. From my Nissan Altima, like I passed so many cars, guys. Uh, I passed so many cars. I came from leasing to buying, back to leasing again. Bought a couple of them. Sold them. Move on to the next one. Like I, that's I'm just a car guy. If I don't like that car anymore, I move on to the next one. Like that's just how I am. And this is why when playing GTA, I I mean this is this is fun for me because I'm I really enjoy all these things. Even after getting the GTA. Now, now, now the funny thing, right? I always got to tell you guys. Cuz some 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 this dude the other day, right? Cuz we was at a GTA meet. He was like, yo, I really love my car, but my car doesn't attract any girls. But I'm like, why did you get a GTR? He was like, yo, I just want to look cool, man, because I see you guys with the GTRs. Like, the GTR is like a second car, not his lady drive. He was like, yo, I just want to have a GTR so I could be pulling, you know, any girls that I want. But I'm like, so you don't understand the car, you don't understand the passion about the car. You just been hearing. Oh, he was like, yo, I just heard it's one, it's fast, but I don't know anything about it like that. I just thought like I could have pulled a lot of girls, but he was like, yo, but I'm getting the worst experience because I'm only getting love from dudes. Like every dudes that pass by me just giving me like a thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, because this is like you really have to be into this car. Oh, uh, maybe a fanboy, but you really have to be into the car or at least know about the car because first thing I was going to go for um, what you call it for Nismo, but I know what a Nismo is all about. So why not save my money and build my own engine, do my own, um, you know, E85 and, you know, just, you know, just switch everything myself. That's the fun part about having a GTR too. Just building the whole thing yourself. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's worth trying. The LOD for these cars sucks. Okay, this is the first one. We got one up there, guys. We got one up there. Yeah, so if you're not into this car, man, I don't think it's worth even like spending over a hundred thousand. But you know what? He said he did save some money because he bought the 2010 version. So he bought it for like what 50, 50 something. And they are going for cheap now too. Um, me on the other end, I love I, I I wanted the new one. I just wanted the new one. Let's just say that. But if you're not into those type of cars, man, don't don't waste your money, man. Most people I usually tell them just go for a Porsche, go go for something nice like that. Or get you get your little nice car, enjoy that before you even spend that much money on a car, man. It's a Jeep. Oh, I was about to say, is the Jeep still there? Why is my alarm still going off? All right. I don't think this is going to fit, but it's worth trying. Hey, fit. 
At least I get to move these cars. I'm literally moving right next, right down the block, guys. So after I'm done with this, guys, we're going to go visit this spot. And once we done with that, we should be all good for the day, man. I hope I didn't get hit. I was about to get hit by this car. Man. But yeah, so what is the reason why you got your car? Because I know the reason why I got my car. Um, I'm asking you guys, what is the reason why you got the car that you have? What the car that you driving right now? Why are you driving that car right now? Is it because that's the car you can afford right now? Or is it the car that you just, I don't know. Just let me know. Let me know. Leave some comments, man. Let me know. I, I would love to hear about because that guy surprised me. I was like, so you don't know anything about GTA? I was like, nah, I'm not even gonna try to like um, explain, you know, as far as like trying to tell him what to do or what not to do or whatever, because he really got the car for the wrong reason. Like, I kind of hate when people get the car for like completely the wrong reason like that. Um, let's raise the top deck. Hey, at least I get to bring three cars at the same time. Um, the Jeep back there, you know what? The Jeep, um, that's what I'm gonna be driving for today. Yeah, I don't think I should take that Jeep. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be driving for today, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's. I shouldn't even raise the top deck. We could lower that because we're going right down the block. I'm not even going to close the back. Right down the block, guys. I was going to drive each one of them, but it looked like that might be easier. All right, we got it. Oh, shoot. Let me wait until it's done. That would be like a nice thumbnail too. Oh shoot! No, 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 no! It's gonna destroy the top. Oh shoot! Raise it, raise it. Okay. Wait, I thought it would have been okay with the back like that, man. All right, some more pictures. All right, anyway, let's go. Let's get this over with because I I need to go visit that place, man. I need to go visit that place right now. And how many? Um, another question. Oh shoot. How? How? I don't know. I don't know how I made that one guys, but it was possible by GTA logic. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, know, I made it. I made it. I made it. Alright, that's all I need. That's all I needed. Alright, so we're gonna get all these vehicles down. Lower the top deck. Okay, get that down. All right, let me start with the back. Um, of course, why I gotta do that? Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is park them aside, guys. Oh, you know what? Park them down the ramp. Let's stop right here. <laughs> he got the number of the headshot guy. <laughs> really, do? Oh, come on, truck. Can I just jump in there like that? Yeah. You see the Range Rover didn't move. Oh my god. Yo, just move out the way, man. Move out my way. Oh shoot, I almost hit him. And I remember back in the day, man, I wanted a Range Rover so bad. Even my mom know about that. I was like, yo, that was like my dream to be in a Range Rover. Until I got into a Range Rover. Oh, <laughs> You guys didn't see that. Yo, dude, you could have slowed down at least, man. This dude just hit me. Is he alright? He just left. Alright, so we got the Jeep. That's the last one. Um I saved these cars already. Let's go. Let's bring the Jeep in. Okay. So we got two more and then the um, SRT. I mean, that was the Durango. I say the Jeep. All right, let's bring this G Wagon in. The Range Rover. What is your favorite SUV? Right now, I'm looking at the new Lamborghini truck, guys. I am looking at the new Lamborghini truck. That's what I'm feeling right now. Imagine driving one of these, the new Lamborghini truck. But you know what? I really don't. I, I you know what? I don't. I'm looking at it doesn't mean I'm going to fall in love with it like that. And you know what? I probably will have to drive it first because that's the way I am. I want to drive the car first before I actually judge it like that. 
but I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what um, this new Lamborghini truck have to offer. That is if, I mean, most people probably won't be able to afford that. Most likely, you're probably just going to have to lease it or try it out. Try it out for a bit and yeah, figure out if you want it or not. But anyway, I'm going to be driving this Jeep. I'll bring the Jeep back to my crib and let's get rid of this truck. Can I just get rid of it like that? Nope. I guess I'll get rid of it once I get to the Jeep. Anyway, how hope you guys all having a great day, of course. Uh, next step is, I mean, next stop is this island. I want to visit the island and I really want to surprise CC. By the way, my birthday is what? Is it next week or the week after? It's May 10th. It's May 10th. I already went away for my birthday, so don't expect that I'm going to be away again. Um, I know some of you guys did miss me when I was away, but no, I'm not going to go away like that, man. It's going to be a while before I go away again. Or at least on vacation. I went over on vacation at, um, on the island, man. One of the best, man. It top it actually, you know, I feel like it topped Puerto Rico for me because I mean, the last time I went to Puerto Rico, we had like our own place and stuff like that. It was freaking amazing. All right, let me just check out with her. Let's make sure she's good and we out. I got to go get this helicopter. Are right, you good? I already transfer all the trucks so you can close the garage in the back. I mean, tell the guys to close the garage in the back and I'll see you later. All right, you good? Anyway, she's just doing her work. I'm always interrupting. She's always doing her work. All right. So one thing about this Jeep, man, is that this is not the scat pack or something like that. No, no, no. I don't want to break the window. I don't want to break the window. I almost got I almost got one of these Jeeps, guys. I almost did. Almost did. All right. So I'm going to take the chopper from the crib. Should I even take the chopper from the crib? Or I could just take the one over here. Yeah, let's take the one over here. It's right down the block instead of going back to the house. I got my own location around here, man. You know, I run this city. I run this city. I feel like I run my city right now, man. Just got it. You know, once you once you're doing a lot of things in your city, man, just, you know, you know, everybody doing what you're doing. Because I remember back in New York, man, I was just doing my thing too, man. Just doing my thing. So I was looking at one of the most search, um, you know, when you type Steve the Gamer 55, and then they say like what people search for the most, and a lot of people, oh, <laughs> damn, a lot of people have been searching for my net worth. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why is everybody searching for my net worth, man? I ain't worth nothing. I ain't worth nothing, bro. Nah, I'm just saying like a lot of people have been searching for that, which I find that really funny. Um, all right, so we could park over here. I call my mechanic so he could come take care of this. Oh, actually, let me save this truck. Yes, I did save this truck already. All right, so we're going to take the helicopter. I'm not sure we're going to take that one. I think I can actually switch this. Yeah, so it, it's funny because um. A lot. Let's pick Maverick. Let's switch it. Yes, I'll, I'm sure. I want to switch it to the Maverick. What's the helicopter? So do I have to leave? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I just want a regular chopper, so I can actually get to my location. All right. So I think it's this island over here, but I'm not sure yet, guys, until I actually make it there. I think it's this one. Wait, what other helicopter that I have as an option, though? I just saw it, right? And I. Oh, I could have get this in that instead. Cargo Bob. Oh, man, let's switch to this. All right, let me just move out the way before this thing landed on me. There you go. I could work with this. Yeah, so I, I find that really funny. I, as a YouTuber, man, um, depends on how you work, depends on what you do, this depends on how you run your channel, man. Hey, it's it's a new career now. A lot of people know about it, and 
I'm just happy I was able to latch on it. Like, uh, yeah, just like I'm saying, latch on it early. I'm like one of the old timers. What is this? Marco Bros. What? Yeah, I'm one of the old timers. So I've been doing YouTube for a while now. I um, really took YouTube seriously about two years ago, and it's been it's been a blessing, man. Just enjoying this, enjoying this, of course. And I was looking forward to like I'm one of those YouTubers. It doesn't matter. I don't care if and if I reach a higher level. Trust me, I'm gonna be talking to you. Cause somebody the other day was like, "Yo, how come you still, you know, connect with your friends? You know how much subscribers you have. You should not be talking to everybody." Like I'm like, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna talk to you guys. I'm still gonna do all these things. Like there's no amount of subscribe like some of you walking out like yo I have this amount of subscribers man I'm I'm big I'm this nah man nah nah I'm just like you bro I'm just like you still doing my thing but anyway we're supposed to find this place what is this place is that it is that really it like is an island that thing look nice I'm not sure like I, oh, there it is. There it is. That is it. That is it. Oh, I could have just drove over here. So there's a there's a path. There's there's a regular road for this. All right, I'm take. Hey, I'm gonna land right here, man. So there's a road for this, guys. At least I know now. There's a yacht over there too. No way. All right, so we get to visit this place right now. This might be a longer let's go to work episode, but it is what it is, man. We're going to visit this place. We're probably going to chill here for a minute and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, of course. Wow. All right, let's land this properly. Do I have a back wheel? Oh, no. All right, so I'm good. All right, that works. There's a yacht here, too, man. I don't think there's nobody here like that, but you know, it is up to us to just, you know, is it? Oh, shoot. Almost went the wrong way. Oh, there's people here. There's people here. There's actually people here just chilling. Is this paradise or what? We on an island. Um, I have one of these yachts already, so you guys already know how these yachts are. Um, let's go upstairs. Is there a downstairs? Nope. So in case I miss anything um on this place, just let me know. Oh, we will re revisit this place again. Is this like a regular island? Is this like an apartment? It looked like an apartment. I mean, uh, a big ass mansion where everybody could just stay at. Is that a basketball court? Thought it was. Oh, we could be. Oh, this is a garage. This is a garage. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, this is a garage over here. All right, entrance coming from. Wait, what the hell is this? It's a side. I'm loving these new place, man. I'm actually trying to work with the person that create these mods, man. Because all these things are on point, man. They they they've been doing. Hey, oh sorry. It was like hi. How you doing, man? <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. Not my place. All right, where does that lead you to? Where is just the island? Yo, this is nice. This is nice, and this is the main road over there. This is nice. I'm feeling this, guys. I'm feeling this. I didn't even look at the inside of the place yet. What kind of road is this? All right, I can't bring those supercars over here. Yeah, that road look crazy. Definitely shouldn't bring my Jeep over here, but it is what it is. Damn, look at the view though. Look at these. Look. All right. I don't know if I even have enough money to buy this place, especially with a yacht. I don't know if now mill could do this right now. I don't think non mill could actually purchase this place, but it's good to look at it to see what we can actually work hard for. But I don't think we can actually purchase this place, man. What you guys think? 
Can we really purchase this place? All right. This look like a big ass place though. Oh, we could just chill here. Nice. Is that a room? Oh, that's the way to go downstairs. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's the gym over here. So looking at the yacht over here, just relaxing. Looking at this view, this beautiful view. Man, you don't know how much this means until you actually have it, man. Until you actually try it. This means a lot, man. Alright, so we're going upstairs. Let's check everything else. I'm actually coming down with a cold now too. <laughs> what is this? What is this, man? Where does that lead you to? Do they organize this place, man? That leads you to a firework, living room, pool table, jacuzzi. Oh, this is a glass. I can't get through. <laughs> Yo. Nice CV. I guess that's the way to get out there. Okay, okay, I see. Barbecuing, chilling, looking at the water, looking at the people down there. You see they chilling over there. I could have been chilling up here too. Damn, yo, this is the life. This is the life, man. This is what we fight for, man. It's just a glass. Okay. I was about to jump down there. All right, what's over there, though? Another living room. So, this is like a family house. Like, this is like where you bring your either your family, your, your homeboys, or uh, I don't know, bring a bunch of girls, whatever the case is. Nice ass mansion, man. I got so much TVs. Like, I don't, I don't even know where to watch TV at. Look at my dad. I feel like at my house over here. I only have six bedroom. Shoot. <laughs> I feel like that already. Even my cat got a room. Shoot. Actually, CC's cat. Oh, this is where I just came from. I'm trying it right now. All right, so we walk through over here. I feel like I'm going to miss a bedroom. I bet. This is the front. It's getting dark, too. Looking forward to getting ripped later. Whatever. Nice. So th is that like different apartment? Oh, what's up, guys? You guys are good. These guys. That's a bedroom. This feel like a yacht, like, you know, everybody got their own little room. This place looks nice though. This place look look nice. So if I purchase this place, you know what I'm gonna do? Just rent it out. Rent it out, just you know, just present it to a lot of people, a lot of people that have money. And just show them, you know, how much fun they could just have the you know a beach view and all that stuff. I just got to do my thing, man. All right. This place feel like it's going to take forever to just look at everything. I'm guessing this is the kitchen. Yeah, it's getting like way too dark now. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fell in the water. Yo, it better not be no shock over here. Yo, we in the middle of nowhere. It better not be no shock. How can I get back? Come back, come back, come back. Do I have do I even have a knife? No, I don't. In case there's a shock, yo. Ah, oh, come on. I fell in the water. Man overboard. Damn. All right. They kind of play me with that one, man. Anyway, it's still. Oh my goodness! Oh, time is actually up, guys. Oh, time is actually up. So when I come back, let me know if I should, you know, definitely check out this place some more. If you like it, what did you like about it? I still got more stuff to visit, <laughs> at least to look at this place. Um, I don't know, but our time is up right now, man. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Let me know. I'll come back next time. I'll definitely come back over here. Cause it's getting dark too. It's, it's really dark out here right now. And I fell in the water, man. I'm about to walk around with a. That's another crash. 
No, that's the same one. Yeah. But anyway, guys, um, I guess I'll see you here tonight. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace. Easy Boy Productions.